Hi, in this video I'm going to introduce you to Stanza, which is a Python library for processing many languages. And I'm also going to show you how to load a language model into Stanza for processing some texts. As usual, I already have a notebook open and you can find a link to this notebook in the description below. I want to start by introducing Stanza, which is a Python library for processing many languages developed by the Stanford Natural Language Processing Group. The library currently provides models for over 60 languages as of 2021, which are trained on corpora annotated using the Universal Dependencies framework. This means that the models can do usual tasks such as tokenizing text into analytical units, which are then tagged for their parts of speech, uh, morphological features and also for their syntactic dependencies. These are the same tasks that we've explored in the previous videos using the Spacey Natural Language Processing Library. So let's start by importing the stanza library by running this cell which contains the command import stanza. When I run this cell this will give us access to the library. To start processing some text we need to download a language model for the language that we want to work with. This can be done using the download function, which is available under the main module stanza, which takes a single required argument, that is lang, which defines the language for which the model is downloaded. To download a model for a given language, you need to provide a two-letter code to the lang argument as a Python string object. You can find the codes for specific language models on the Stanza website. I also provide an optional argument to define where the downloaded model should be placed, but if you're happy with the default directory, you don't have to provide this argument to the download function. If I run this cell, Stanza will download a language model for Wolof, whose language code is WO, which is one of the many languages spoken in West Africa. Stanza will also output some information on the progress of the download. It's a good idea to check the output that Stanza actually finished downloading the models successfully. So what we do now is we use the pipeline class to create a natural language processing pipeline in Stanza. To create a pipeline, we need to pass the argument lang to define the language model to be loaded into the pipeline and optionally we can also determine the directory where we placed the downloaded language models. Then we simply assign the resulting pipeline under the variable nlp underscore wo. To create the pipeline I simply run this cell which then causes Stanza to produce some output reporting that the model was loaded successfully. So what you see on the left hand side are the processors or components of the pipeline and on the right hand side you see the packages or the corpora used to train the model. So in this case all of the components have been trained using the wall of tree bank. We can also call the pipeline object to examine the output and as you can see the result is a stanza pipeline object. In the next video I'm going to show you how to use the language model to process some text. I hope you found this short introduction to Stanza useful and if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and see you soon.